Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. What another beautiful and awesome day today to always be in the presence of the Lord. Another day right now to give him all the thanks right now, to give him all the praise and to give him all the glory. Today is the day, hallelujah, that the Lord has made. And I mean every last one of us. I mean every last one of us should always be glad and always rejoice in it. We serve an awesome God. We serve an amazing God. We serve a powerful God. We serve a God who is the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. We serve a God who still sits on the throne, who still performs miracles and wonders each and every day in the mighty name of Jesus. He is still in the healing business. He is still in the blessing business. God is good all the time, and all the time, God is good. And he is so worthy, hallelujah, yes he is. He is so worthy to be praised. Every day is a day to every last one of us. We should all be thankful for what we have. We should be thankful for what God has done and what God is doing in our life. We should be thankful that he gave us another chance, that he gave us another opportunity to make something happen, that we was able to seek him, we was able to praise him, we was able to glorify him, we was able to shout out his holy name and say, Jesus, you are everything, because a lot of people, are glory be to God, was not even able to say that today. No, they wasn't, but God gave you a chance today. He gave you an opportunity today. How many of y'all right now today gave Jesus the thanks today? How many of y'all praise his name today? How many of y'all glorify his name today? How many of y'all is on his holy name right now today? How many of y'all spend time with Jesus today? Because it doesn't matter what we are going through. It doesn't matter what we are facing. At the end of the day, Jesus still expects to hear from every last one of us. And we all go through things. But Jesus is the only one that can help us. He's the only one that has the answer. He's the only one that has the solution. He's the only one that cares for us. Because the word of God tells us in the, in the book of 1 Peter 5 and 7 that we need to cast all our anxieties on him because it is him that cares for us. Social media don't care for you like that. The people at the job don't care for you like that. Your family don't care for you like that. Your homeboys, your homegirls does not care for you like that. Even your significant other might not care for you like that. Even your cats and your dogs might not care for you like that. But I know one person, and his name is Jesus. He does care for you. Are you following what I'm saying? That's why I'm always encouraging my brothers and sisters that praise is an everyday thing. It's not an on and off switch thing. It's not a seasonal thing. It is an everyday thing because the God we serve, the God we praise, he watches over every last one of us. And he has it in the palm of his hands and he is working everything out to his perfect will. And if you have not welcomed the Lord into your home, to your life, or even your prayer closet room, and if you don't have a personal relationship with Jesus, I want to encourage you right now today, please do so. His arms are open wide. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father God, we just come before you right now today in the mighty name of Jesus. Give me all thanks today. Give me all praise today. Give me all glory. We just thank you, Heavenly Father God, for who you are, what you've done, and what you're about to do. We thank you, Heavenly Father God, how you're moving in our life. We thank you, Father God, how you order our steps. We thank you, Father God, for your guidance and your direction. We thank you, Father God, because you always make yourself available. For those who seek your face. For those who cry at your name. For those who call at your name. For those who kneel down before the throne. Because your words in the book of Matthew verse 18 and 19. Were two or more gathered in your name. Hallelujah. There you are in the midst. So Father God as we are praying right now. We know that you are in the midst of this prayer right now. Oh Father God we know that your hands are all around us right now. Oh Father God we know Father God that you have a tight grip on us right now. Oh Heavenly Father God. We just thank you, Father God, for who you are, because you are the captain of our ship. You're the one that's in control, and you're the one that's in charge. We just thank you today, Jesus. We glorify you today, Jesus, and we magnify your name today, Jesus. Oh, Heavenly Father God, you continue to have your way with your sons and your daughters today, Father God. Oh, Father God, we thank you for your grace and your mercy. We thank you, Father God, for your love that you continue to give us. 
We thank you, Father God, for how patient you are with us, God. We thank you, Father God, for this word that we're about to receive, this powerful message right now today, God, that's going to keep us full today, keep us satisfied today. And there's no other place, Heavenly Father God, that we'd rather be at right now today, Jesus, but right here in your house, right here in your sanctuary, Father God, give me all things, give me all praise, give me all glory. Today is the day that you have made. And every last one of us should be glad and always rejoice in it. Oh, Heavenly Father God, let your will be done today, Father God. Let your words go out and never turn my voice today, Father God. Oh, Heavenly Father God, this is your time. This is your moment. Glory be to God. That I know for a fact that you're about to show up. That I know for a fact that you're about to show out. I believe and I declare a decree right now today in the mighty name of Jesus. That someone's going to be healed today. Someone's going to be delivered today. Someone is ready to give their life over to you right now today, Jesus. And the angels are rejoicing in heaven right now, and you will, and you shall get all the things, all the praise, and all the glory. Heavenly Father God, this is your house, the house that you built on solid ground, the house that you built on solid foundation, the house that cannot be moved, shaken, or bothered. Heavenly Father, all but Father, you are welcome right now, you are invited right now today to enter to the house of the Lord, right here in your sanctuary, right here on your YouTube channel, right here on your platform, right here in my sister's home, right here in my sister's life, right here in my brother's home, right here in my brother's life. Heavenly Father God, I'm asking you right now today, Father God, for you to lay hands on every last one of my brothers and sisters right now. I'm asking you right now today, Father God, to anoint their head right now today, Father God. Allow their cups to continue to overflow right now today, Father God. Allow their lamps to continue to burn right now today, Father God. Oh, Heavenly Father God, I'm asking you to lift their spirits up right now today, Father God. Speak a word to them right now today, Father God. I'm asking you right now today, Father God, for you to send them a sign right now today, Jesus. Send them an angel right now today, Jesus. I'm asking you, Father God, for you to do a new thing in my brothers and sisters' life right now. Heavenly Father God, I'm asking you for a favor. And the favor that I'm asking for God is for a supernatural blessing for my brothers and sisters, a breakthrough for my brothers and sisters, a miracle for my brothers and sisters, that you put them at the right place at the right time for my brothers and sisters, that you will open up the floodgates of heaven right now today, Father God, that you will pour blessing on my brothers and sisters that they ain't going to be able to handle it all. I'm asking right now today, Father God, for you to send rain in their harvest right now. I'm asking you, Father God, to send them the help they need right now today, Father God, because your word said it's not too hard for you and it's not too difficult for you, Father God, and I'm standing on that word, Jesus. I'm standing on your promise, God, that I know it's already been done. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, you are welcome right now. You're invited right now today to enter to the house of the Lord. Right here in this sanctuary, right here on this YouTube channel, right on this platform, right here in my brother's home, right here in my brother's life, right here in my sister's home, right here in my sister's life. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to intercede and intervene right now. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to comfort us right now today because you're a comforter. I'm asking you right now today to control our thoughts, control our minds so we hear your soft, still voice. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to move through this place like you never know, moved before so we catch the Holy Ghost fire. As we repent of our sins today, Father God, please forgive us for our sins today. Known and unknown right now. Wash us through your blood right now. Clean us as white as snow. Heavenly Father God, I want to say thank you right now today for forgiving us for our sins. Thank you, Father God, for not remembering our sins anymore. Thank you, Father God, for the clean slate. Thank you, Father God, for the opportunity. Words cannot explain how thankful, how grateful, how honored, how blessed I am to always pray, praise, and have fellowship with all my brothers, all my sisters that run by in Christ. Heavenly Father God, I'm here today to let you know that I'm available for service. I'm available for the kingdom, but most of all, Jesus, that I'm available for you. Heavenly Father God, before I get started, it's something that's always in my mind about you. It's something that stays in my spirit about you. It's something that stays on the fruit of my tongue, the fruit of my lips about you. And I got to tell you how I really feel about you, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough, 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 Jesus. I just can't thank you enough. That's why I praise you the way I do because I can't thank you enough. That's why I glorify you the way I do, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I magnify. And I shout out your holy name the way I do, G, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I pull my heart out to you every day, G, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I'm in love with you the way I am, G, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I want more, I want more, I want more of you, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. I just 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 can't thank you enough. Glory, hallelujah. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. And if you're ready for God's word, let the church say amen. Hallelujah. Our God is so awesome, and he is so amazing, and he is so faithful, my brothers and sisters, that he'll never fail you, nor he'll ever leave you, nor forsake you, that he'll never let you down. Amen? Amen. Today's word is 
please don't forget where you come from. Don't forget where you come from. As a lot of people right now today, they have actually forgot where they come from. They forget about humble beginnings. Now all of a sudden, they think that they better than somebody else. They walk on their chest puffed out. They walk on their nose staring down at somebody acting and pretending like they better than somebody else. But they forgot. They ain't always been in that position. They forgot they ain't always had a bank account like that. They forgot they ain't never had a house like that. They forgot they ain't never drove cars like that. And all of a sudden, the things don't turn for them. And now all of a sudden, they want to look down on the next man. They want to look down on the next woman. All of a sudden, they want to use their power and think they more inferior than the next man and next woman. Now they want to use this power, this image, think, think, think they always been on top of the game. No, my brothers, no, my sisters. My grandparents always say this. The same way you got it is the same way that you can lose it. The same way you think, the same way that you think you're on that high horse is the same way that God can bring you down on that high horse. Because if it weren't for God, my sisters, if it weren't for God, my brothers, you wouldn't be in that position in the first place. If it weren't for Jesus, you wouldn't be living in that house, now would you? If it weren't for Jesus, you wouldn't have that title, now would you? If it weren't for Jesus, you wouldn't have that car, now would you? If it weren't for Jesus, you wouldn't have that type of business, now would you? Now all of a sudden, you think that you got the audacity to look down on somebody else, think that you better than somebody else, my sisters, my brothers, don't you dare forget where you come from. Because the same way you got it, God can take it away from you. There's too many of y'all right now that you walk around with your chest puffed out. You walk around like, like you're in the army. Like you're some type of sergeant or sergeant or somebody. Looking down on somebody. Acting like you ain't never been in that predicament before. Acting like you ain't had to borrow a dollar here before. Acting like that you always always been on top of the game. Now you acting like you all high and mighty and think you can just talk to people any kind of way. You can look at people any kind of way. You can treat people any kind of way. But you have no idea. God sees that. You have no idea. God can take that away and give it to somebody else. And the same way you mistreating that person, that person can be your boss. How would you like it then? You want it won't be too funny then now with it. You've been walking around with your chest all puffed out, walking like you big and bad. Still at the same way before you got in that position. Don't let the title get to your head. Don't let the finances get to your head. Don't let the car get to your head. Don't let that, that don't let that that house get to your head. Don't let that business get to your head. But somehow, some way, all that right, that material stuff, it don't get to your head. You don't want to kick it with the people who used to kick it with when you was down. Now all of a sudden you don't you don't got a little you don't got a little weight on you right now. You don't want to hang you don't want to hang with June June no more. You don't want to hang with Riri no more. You feel like you better than June June, right? You feel like you better than Riri, right? You still gotta treat June June and Riri the same way before you got in that position, my brothers and sisters. Don't act like you better than them. But too many of y'all right now today, you letting that you letting that materialistic things get to your head. You walking like you got power. You walking like you a God Almighty, and you're not. You ain't no better than me. You ain't no better than my sisters at the end of the day. Because what you got right now today, you can lose that just in the quick of a second. Then you will understand how God run this whole show. How God is in control. How God is running this whole ship. But you don't forget humble beginnings. You don't forget who got you in that predicament. You don't forget who put you in that position. You have forgot. You're going like you put yourself in that position, as some of y'all think. But you don't realize God have a way. He can deflate all that air that you got pumped up in your chest. How your head is so big, you don't swear it up. He can deflate that too and bring it down to a normal peanut size to let you know that he is God. To let you know that he's running this show. He run this whole he run this whole show all by itself. He put you in that, in that predicament because he saw how humble you were. But he also knew that once you got it, that you was gonna walk around puffed up too. Don't think for one second the same when you got it 
is the same that you can lose it. Don't think for one second the same way you got it, hallelujah, is the same way that you can lose it. Then what you going to do then? You're going to need June, June again then, right? You're going to need Riri again then, right? Some of y'all right now, they so puffed up, you forgot about your own family members. You don't forget about people who helped you and put you in that position. You walk around like you don't even know them no more. You don't want to answer their phone call. You don't want to answer their emails. You don't want to answer their texts. You think that you are better than them now. You think that you are above them. You ain't no better than nobody. You ain't no above nobody. You still the same person. Act like you're the same person. Quit thinking that you are bigger and better than somebody else, my brothers and sisters. I'm just keeping it real with somebody right now today. Because we all know somebody that's acting like that right now. But don't never forget where you come from. Don't ever forget that. Because it'd be a sad day for you, my sisters. It'd be a sad day for you, my brothers, if God were to take that stuff from you right now today. Ask Job. Job said the same man that blessed me the first time be the same man that blessed me again. God can take that from you. He can take it from you. Then what you gonna do then? Then reality will seek in then, right? Then you'll know who God is then, right? You won't be walking around with your chest puffed out then, would you? You won't be walking around sticking up your nose and staring down people looking in any kind of way now then, would you? You won't be looking at people sideways no more now, would you? You never know who you might need. The same way that you're on that high horse is the same way God can bring you down and bring you back to reality. I don't know who I'm talking to today, but you don't realize God has been watching you. And God has been watching how you've been mistreating his sons and his daughters because you think that you are high and mighty than somebody else. Don't think for one second he can take it away from you. Don't think for one second all oh, that can disappear just in a second. All of them. Quick, fast, and hurry. It can go away. And don't think that God won't do it because he will. There's a lot of people who thought that. And when God took it away, and they humbled themselves real quick because they never thought they'd ever go back to where they was. They always thought they was going to be on top. They always thought they were going to be high and mighty. They always thought they can work around their chest puffed out. They always thought they can look down on somebody. God said, no, nah, let me show him something. Let me show her something. Let me show them that I run in this show. I am the captain of this ship. I run this whole ship. If it wasn't for me, they wouldn't be in that predicament in the first place. So let me show them. You cannot go around mistreating my people any kind of way and thinking I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna handle, handle you. Because at some point, God gonna make you face some consequences. Give me a second. At some point, God gonna make you face those consequences. Just because how you'll treat people. It's a lot of NFL players don't lost everything. They humble now. It's a lot of NBA players don't lost everything. They humble now. It's a lot of major league baseball players. They humble now. What other profession these people was in or even business type of people? When they lost everything, the same way they walk around their chest puffed out, they ain't puffed out no more. A lot of entertainers, a lot of musicians. They ain't puffed out no more. They ain't bragging. They ain't boasting no more. Because you know why? God had to show them who is God. They forgot where they came from. They thought they was always in Hollywood. They thought they came from Hollywood. They thought and how they portrayed themselves like they came from money. But they ain't really. They came from the hood too. They came from the projects too. They forgot about that part. They forgot they was on Section 8. They forgot they was on Housing Authority. They forgot they was at the food bank. They forgot they was on food stamps. They forgot. And they start looking down on you. Think they better than you. And you think God saw that? God saw how they mistreated you. God saw how they were mishandling you. So God had to show up and pay him a visit to let him know. Don't ever forget where you come from. Let's turn our Bible to 1 Corinthians chapter 4. And we're going to read verses 7 and 8. 1 Corinthians chapter 4. And we're going to read verses 7 and 8. And if you have your Bibles open, let the church say amen. Amen. Glory be to God. 
For who makes you different from anyone else? For who? Look what Paul was saying. For who makes you, my brothers and sisters, who different from anyone else? What did you have that you did not receive? Woo, hallelujah. And if you did not receive it, why did you boast as though you did not? Already you have all you want. Already you have become rich. You have become kings and with and that without us. How how wish that you really had become kings so that we might not be kings with you. Are you following what I'm saying right now? That's what he's saying. Mm. Already you have you everything you want. You have everything you want. And you got the audacity to still walk around your chest pumped out. You got the audacity to still look down on other people. How can you say that you got more than me? How can you look down on me because I'm not living the life that you're living right now? How can you look down on me because I'm not driving the car that you're driving right now? How can you look down on me because my bank account ain't full of zeros and zeros and zeros and yours is? How can you look down on somebody because you can afford to go on these trips across seas? All they can end right now today. All they can go away right now today. You got to stop walking around with your chest puffed out, my brothers and sisters. You ain't no different. You ain't no better than the next man, the next woman. You got to remember, always continue to stay humble. It's the point I make. Because the more that you continue to stay humble, it's the more that God is going to continue to bless you. But some of you right now that you forgot about the humble beginnings. You forgot. You thought that you've always been in this position. You feel like that you've always been in this spot. And you haven't. Be thankful and grateful for what you have. Be thankful and grateful that God put you in that position. But don't try to abuse that position. Don't try to abuse what God has given you. Think that you are bigger and better than somebody else when you're not. Don't look down on nobody because you can't afford to look down on nobody because you can't have it today and be gone tomorrow. The point I'm making to somebody right now today, don't forget where you come from. The same way that you got on that high horse, it's the same way you can be brought down. And I don't know who I'm talking to today. I don't know who this word for today. But God is going to speak to somebody right now today. And you know exactly who you are. Don't forget where you come from. Continue to stay humble. Continue to seek him. Continue to praise him. Don't look down on nobody else. Don't think that you're better than anybody else. Because you're in this position. Because you never know how God can flip this strip. You never know how God can turn that thing around and spin the block. You never know how he can do it. He works in mysterious ways. If you don't know, you know him now. Because trust and believe. He'll make you a believer than anything. And I believe right now God's going to make some of y'all believer. Because some of y'all right now today, you think that you can't lose. You think that you are high and mighty. You think that you are big, bad, Billy Jean. You think, you think that you're always going to be in this predicament. You think you're always going to be on top. You think that you will never fall off. Continue to walk with your chest puffed out. Continue to walk down and look down on people. And you think God don't see it. And you think God don't notice it. He'll take it away from you. Are you following what I'm saying? And if this word is for you, you know God is talking to you. And this word is hitting your spirit right now today. Say, Jesus, I know that you're talking to me. I know this word is for me. Thank you, Jesus. For keeping me in line. Thank you, Jesus, for alerting me. Thank you, Jesus, for reminding me. I ain't no better than the next man. I ain't no better than the next woman. I will always continue to remain humble. Amen? Amen. And if this word moves through your spirit today, go and hit Jesus' like button. Go and hit the subscribe button too as well. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into our life to guide us, direct us, use us. And I believe right now today in the mighty name of Jesus, by us praying this simple little prayer that God is already working everything God is not like for now today. And if you ever want to get in contact with me or leave me a comment, my YouTube channel is withers.alt. Always keep Jesus first place. Always seek him. Always honor him. Always keep your eyes focused on Jesus because he is the author and the perfecter of your faith. Continue to trust him even though you don't see things happening. Continue to hold on to his unchanged hands and please do not let it go. Continue to pick up your crosses and follow Jesus. Choose faith over fear. 
Always continue to pray for your fellow brothers and sisters. It doesn't matter if you know them. It doesn't matter if you ever seen their face. Prayer will help and prayer changes things. I'm always going to continue to keep y'all in prayer, my brothers and sisters. The only thing that I ask y'all guys to do for me is continue to keep me in prayer and keep me lifted up to you. I'm seven minutes of LT. I love y'all. Stay blessed. In Jesus' glory, holy mighty name, I love every last one of y'all. Amen.